Hi, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today, I'll show you how to crochet a calla lily flower, which looks nice in a vase and a bouquet. I'm using worsted weight cotton yarn and an F hook to produce small tight stitches, but feel free to use a G hook if needed, and a foot long quarter inch diameter dowel painted green. To begin, make a slip knot, then chain two, making sure that first chain is a bit looser so we can fit stitches into it. For round one, in the second chain from the hook, make eight half double crochet stitches in it. Once completed, slip stitch to the first stitch. For round two, chain one, which doesn't count as a stitch. Then make two half double crochet stitches in each stitch around. At the end, you'll have 16 half double crochet stitches once completed on this round. After the slip stitch, round three starts with a chain one. The pattern is two half double crochet stitches in the same stitch, followed by just one half double crochet stitch. Then two half double crochet stitches. followed by one half double crochet stitch. You'll have 24 stitches on this round. Round four starts with a chain one. This time, the pattern is two half double crochet stitches, followed by one half double crochet in each of the next two stitches. For round five, it's a chain one again to start. This time, the pattern is two half double crochet stitches, followed by one half double crochet in each of the next three stitches. Then for round six, chain one as always. The pattern on this round is two half double crochet, followed by one half double crochet in each of the next four stitches. Continue around using this pattern until the last stitch. In the last stitch, we'll do this pattern instead. One half double crochet, one double crochet, one treble crochet, one double crochet, one half double crochet. And then slip stitch to the next stitch to finish the work. Fasten off and weave in all ends. Now for the center part, we'll use yellow yarn and chain nine. Skip the first chain and make one single crochet in each of the next eight chains. Once completed, chain one and turn your work. For the next two rows, we'll make one single crochet in each of the eight stitches. You can see the three rows formed. At the end, leave about a 12 inch tail end for sewing and fasten off. To assemble the lily, we'll take the wooden dowel and the yellow center section. Wrap the yellow part around the dowel and begin to sew it closed. Be sure to close up the top section as well. If you feel this is not secure enough, feel free to put a drop or two of hot glue inside before wrapping the yellow part around the dowel. Fasten off and weave in the ends once completed. Now we'll take the orange part and wrap it around both the yellow center and dowel. With matching yarn, sew the bottom section closed as well. It helps if you can catch a little bit of the yellow part near the bottom section to secure the flower even more. I generally like to tie and knot the ends on the back and weave them in. And that's it. That's how I crochet a calla lily flower. 
Thanks so much for watching my video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified of new videos from me each week. And if you liked the video you just watched, be sure to check out my next video, which I think you'll like very much.